y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to From My Vanity. Once again, I have little Miss Missy Poo here with me. Uh, she's going to help me film this video. So, can you say hi? Hi. So for today's video, I'm collaborating with another third friend of mine here on YouTube. Her name is Georgia Harris. And if you do not know who Georgia Harris is, well, I'm very excited to introduce you because you will love her. She is a fantastic YouTuber. She's a beauty YouTuber here. I love her videos. She has really unique content. She's got a really fun personality, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, she had the idea to kind of uh, give each other a bit of a clip to introduce ourselves on each other's channels. So without further ado, Georgia's gonna introduce yourself. Hi there, I'm Georgia Harris. Big thank you to Katie for deciding to do this collab with me. It's much appreciated. After you're done watching Katie's video, I would love for you to come check out mine and possibly stick around and hang out on my channel. I feel like I'm most well known for colorful makeup, depotting videos, and custom eyeshadow palettes, like when I made my Beauty and the Beast custom eyeshadow palette. I feel like all the makeup that I've regretted purchasing in my beauty lifetime journey is a bit different than maybe other people's things that they regret, so you might want to come check out that list. Thanks so much for clubbing with me again, Katie. To the point of this video, Georgia and I decided to collaborate on a video where we talk about the products that we regret buying. So that's why I'm scooted over to the side because I'm going to be putting pictures of the products that I'm talking about because I no longer own any of these products anymore because I've decluttered or passed them along or returned them, whatever the case may be. So yeah, with all that said, let's dive right into the products that I've purchased over the past year and really regret buying. Okay, so first off, starting with the Lorac Cream Contour Palette. This is a product when I look back on, I'm not really sure why I purchased this because I'm not really that into like cream products and I would try to get into them last year, I want to say the beginning of last year, 2017, but I'm just not into them and going through my declutter towards the end of the year, I actually, I think declutter pretty much all my cream products. So yeah, I did give it a fair try. I did a review on my blog. I can leave that link down below so you hear all my thoughts. But overall, I wasn't impressed with the cream highlighters in that palette. I wasn't impressed with the um, concealers in that palette. And the only, like, I think out of the whole palette, I like two of the cream contour shades. And even then, I didn't use it very often. So for the price and just the quality aspect of it and the fact that I don't even like cream contouring and stuff like that, it's just, it was a big no for me. And I ended up decluttering it uh, in my declutter series and passing it along to someone else who hopefully likes cream contours a lot more than I do. Next up, I want to talk about the Benefit Air Patrol Eyeshadow Primer. Um, now, I can't remember when this came out, but definitely one of the top ones on my list because I gave this a fair try and I just didn't like it for a couple different reasons. One, I felt like it didn't really uh, do a good job at keeping the oils from ruining my eyeshadow throughout the day. Towards the end of a long day, I would see creasing and a lot of fading and just, so that wasn't the best aspect of it. Also, I just didn't like the tip of the applicator would get really gunky and gunked up. If you guys have seen this or used it, you know exactly what I mean. You're supposed to twist it up and the product comes out almost like a concealer type of thing, but the tip is like silicone-y. And so like inside and around the edge, it would just crust up. It, yeah, it just didn't do what I needed it to do. And so overall, um, I didn't like it. I wrote a review on the blog and I think I ended up returning it um, after I finished that just because it wasn't, it didn't do what I needed it to do and also didn't like just the, the aspect of how you got onto your eyelids, the whole twist up thing. I would much rather just a squeezy tube or even a doe foot applicator. So yeah, that was definitely a product that I really regretted purchasing. So next up is uh, from Revlon and it is called their Romantic, or no, Not Just Nudes palette in Romantic Nudes. And I have bought this palette once again right when it released. I saw it in my local drugstore. It looked really pretty. So purchased it, tried it out, Reviewed it on my blog, so if you want more of an in-depth opinion, once again, I'll have it linked down below. But I ended up returning it because it just it just wasn't that good. It looked like it was going to be really nice for like an everyday kind of eye look, and I was uh, on the hunt for finding a really good drugstore palette because I loved eyeshadow palettes so much, and I hadn't really found many from the drugstore. But overall, that one was just a big miss for me. The mattes were just okay, but the shimmers were really where the disappointment kind of lay with that palette. Um, I think there were only three mattes in that palette if I'm remembering correctly. And they worked okay. Brow bone was nice, but the, but the two deep blue colors, like the deepest one wasn't that deep. And so it just all around wasn't worth the money to buy it. <laughs> if you hear any little cute noises, that's just Gideon making noises. He's awake. Hi. 
So yeah, overall, I did give Revlon's uh, new palettes a try. I can't remember when they released, 16 or beginning of 17? I think it was the end of 16, but I just did not like them, and that was one thing I took back in return. So next up, let's talk about the Lorac lip stain. I tried one of them because lip stains really intrigue me. I like the idea of it because you can wear it, and then as it wears away, it still leaves the color on your lips. So I've given a couple lip stains a try over the year, and this was just one of them that didn't work. It applied nicely, but like when I was, you know, wearing it and trying it out, it just looked like a very hydrating lip balm, honestly, and it wore away very quickly, and I did not see any kind of stain that was left around after it was gone, and it was gone fairly quickly. So yeah, I wore that one time and just was not impressed, so that was another product I really regretted buying fairly quickly after purchasing it, and it did go back to Ulta. Okay, so next up, I actually do own this palette, but it's upstairs and I'm down here, so I'll just put a picture here, but it is the Urban Decay Naked Palette, the original. I purchased this, I have it in my collection, and I think I've used it twice, maybe three times. And when I went through my declutter, I was this close to decluttering it, but I figured I'd keep it. I want to give it another shot. Everyone seems to love that palette, but I, the two times or three times that I created looks with it, I just wasn't that impressed. Are you wanting to talk? Are you wanting to talk? <laughs> but uh, I wasn't that impressed with the looks. There weren't enough mattes for me, and I, I'm someone who really enjoys my mattes uh, in my eye eyeshadow looks and in my crease and in my outer corner, what have you, and there just wasn't a whole lot of them. And then the shimmers also weren't that impressive. Like, I really had to spray the shimmers that I used, like, with Fix Plus to get any kind of not even intensity, but just to make it look more shimmery and more, not, not even metallic or anything, but just more shimmery. And so I just really wasn't impressed with that. But like I said, I did keep it around when I went and decluttered, and I really want to get back to it and at least give it another hard try for like maybe a week straight just using it. And then I might declutter it, but overall, every time I look at that palette, I just, I regret buying it. So another product that I totally regret buying is the Maybelline. I think it's called like Line Stiletto Liquid Liner. Um, I forget the exact name. But uh, yeah, I totally regret purchasing that. I kind of impulse bought that when I was at the drugstore. I was wanting to try a new liquid liner. It looked interesting. I never heard anyone talking about it. Now I know why no one talks about it. But So I figured like, hey, let me give it a shot and see if it's like a hidden, hidden gem from Maybelline. I really love Maybelline as a brand. So I wanted to give it a try and yeah, no. No, did not like that product. Um, not only was it hard to get a wing because the tip was like a felt tip, so it wasn't that really tiny and precise like you can get with like a brush tip applicator, but um, it also, it being felt, I don't know, the tip would just dry out all the time, like the very tip of the applicator, and so I'd constantly have to be dunking it back in, and then the tip was kind of flimsy, so it, once again, it's hard to get create a really, you know, really good sharp line and kind of one of those ones that had a really fine tip, which is the kind that I like for my wings. So all around, wasn't impressed. It wasn't even the blackest of blacks too, like especially if you applied it over a eyeshadow color, if it was any kind of metallic or shimmer in there, it kind of mixed with it and just turned it into like a watery black that I had to kind of go over several times. So. It didn't work for my wing liner. It didn't even work for like lining my eyes. Yeah, that was definitely a product that I totally regretted buying because it didn't work no matter how hard I tried. And last up is a fairly new purchase, but it is the, um, I forget what they're called, but they're Real Techniques uh, Art Artiste Dupe Brushes. Picture right here, official name link down below. But uh, yeah, I tried those brushes and I just really didn't like it. And I, I felt bad because everyone I was seeing, oh really but. I felt bad because a lot of people who I saw reviewing it, a lot of my friends here on YouTube, were talking about how much they liked the, pa the, the brush, and I just felt like I was smearing my foundation all over the place. I honestly felt like I was really tugging on my face too, and I think that's the part that I like the least. Um, the Artiste do, or the actual Artiste brush is really the only kind of oval brush that I enjoy and will tend to use. All the other brushes, and I've tried many of them, many different brands, I just, I just don't like, I feel like I'm just tugging out my face as I'm trying to apply my foundation. The Artiste brushes do tug a little bit at your face and at your skin, but nowhere near any of the other brushes that I've tried. And yeah, I just felt like I was really smearing the foundation around on my face, I was tugging my face, it just, I had to put too much pressure on it. Overall, I just, I didn't like it, and I do kind of regret buying it. I bought it right when it released because it looked interesting, and I was curious to see if they would dupe it. But I just, yeah, I didn't like it. Overall, did not like it, and I did end up decluttering that. Kind of regret not just returning it to Ulta, but I decluttered it, got rid of it out of my collection. And those are all the products that I have purchased over the years and totally regret buying. 
you say bye bye. She loves playing dress up. So if you guys are ever curious why she's in so many different outfits in the span of one video, it's because she's always getting changed. But anyway, yep, those are all the products that I purchased and I really just regret buying or, and just didn't live up to the expectations or the hype that I was expecting it to. And yeah, uh, with all that said, that wraps up our video. Definitely go check out Georgia's uh, video. I will have her channel as well as her video where she shared her makeup regrets uh, down below. Get, check her out if you do not follow her. Definitely subscribe to her channel. You won't regret it. She has, I, I, I really like Georgia. She has this sense of humor that I just love and her her channel is one that I can go to any playlist and just like click play on a video and just and listen to it in the background and just crack up with her sense of humor and just listening to her opinions on makeup. She's really awesome. So definitely recommend that you go check her out and if you do, let her know I sent you. But yeah, with all that said, we're going to go now, right? Bye. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,